Something that comes up every now and then is the idea of a stitch abscess or a stitch reaction. And this is something that happens with absorbable stitches. We spend a lot of time making sure all the closures are perfect and we use a lot of absorbable stitches. And those stitches, as they absorb, will sometimes have a little inflammatory reaction. And the way that that shows up is the skin gets a little bit red, it gets irritated, and as that stitch is absorbing, it creates a little bit of liquid because the stitch material liquefies as you're healing and as it absorbs. That little bit of liquid will find its way out through the skin, sometimes creating a tiny opening in the skin. And when that happens, it, it's a process we call spitting, where a little bit of fluid comes out through that tiny opening. That also will create a little bit more inflammation as it heals. You can have a little bit of redness there, and it eventually just goes away and does heal. Now, these little stitch reactions are impossible to prevent, and they don't happen all the time. It just depends on your body's response to the absorbable suture. Uh, if it happens, it's really not a big deal most of the time, but it can sometimes leave little uh, thickened areas of scar. If that happens, well, you can always do a scar revision, take that little pinch of skin out and improve it. Most of the time, you don't have to do anything. But uh, if you're seeing a little bit of liquid leaking from a, a suture line, you might have a stitch reaction.